This week we have a rescue mission. These poor cedar boards were just left to rot. We just can't let free wood go to waste. Welcome back to Crosscut Turning. Stick around, see what we got. All right, guys and gals, here we've cut up the cedar board. I'm using some denatured alcohol to help clean off the rest of the residue. These things were stuck in the ground. Uh, they were used to outline a, a garden that our neighbors had before they moved away. So I'm just trying to clean off as much dirt and everything as I can before I start trying to glue these things together. Here we are using Tight Bond 3. Just smearing around. I did do five boards, but I ended up only making this with four. I uh, cleaned five off, though. I thought four would be a better better depth for what I was going for and for what my lathe can handle. I wasn't 100% sure that this was cedar wood um, until a little bit later in this video. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm really, uh, really bad at identifying wood species, but here we are clamping it. End up putting another four clamps on here. Um, we just left this overnight, 24 hours before we before we started cutting a circle out of it here on the bandsaw. So after we get our bandsaw cut out, we're going to put this thing on a woodworm screw. Get the woodworm screw up in the chuck, and here we are turning. So I'm starting on the bottom piece of it right here, trying to get it in that corner. Go ahead and get that rounded out. I'm starting out with the square carbide cutter on this thing. Uh, and at about this point right here, I'm really loving this bowl already because the whole area is just, just filled with that cedar smell. It's a, it's a really good smell to have. So... It was really nice doing this bowl. I wanted to go into this trying to do some sort of pedestal design. Um, after I got started on it, I kind of wish I would have tried to go ahead and do five boards. I think it would have gave me more room for the uh, pedestal at the bottom, but I'm still happy with how it, how the shape came out. This is the first glue up project like this that I've done. I've seen quite a few done uh, from other creators on YouTube and everything, but I have not ever done one. And I'm really happy with how this, this first one came out. I think, uh, I think I'll be doing more in the future. Here we're gonna go ahead and mark out our tenon or our mortise rather, and then go ahead and get that in there. Using the 55 degree detailer right there to put the dovetail on it so the jaws will capture it correctly. Here we start sanding. So I uh, sanded the outside, I started with 80. And we're going to go all the way to 400. If you liked the video, you could show me by smacking that like button. Also, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you always see when I have a new video posted. Thank you very much. Now that we've got it all done with the sandpaper, we're going to use the Axe Abrasive Sanding Paste. It's a really easy system. Pretty much grab a paper towel, put some on it, rub it on the surface, and then we crank the lathe up and start letting it do its magic. Just make sure you got a good coat everywhere on it. What we'll do is we'll just keep rubbing it in, and I keep flipping to a clean spot on the paper towel. 
and I'll just keep rubbing it in until the clean spot doesn't get dirty. We'll take some denatured alcohol and just wipe all the excess. If there's any excess abrasive paste on it, it'll get any of that off so we can prep it for the polish. This all should give you a little bit of a peek at what it looks like when the polish goes on. Here we have the Axe Polish Restoring Paste. Put a thin layer of that on, kind of in the same way we do with the uh, Axe Abrasive Paste. Once we have a thin layer of that on, we do the same thing, crank the lathe up, and then just put a little bit of pressure just to heat up the surface of the bowl. It's a friction polish and it leaves a real nice shine on it. And this is going to be the last step we do for the outside. So here we have it flipped over and we're going to start hollowing this sucker out. This is where we're really going to see how good of a job I did on the glue up, which I wasn't really certain of, but... I'm doing all the hollowing with the circle carbide cutter, uh, making sure, doing everything I can to make sure I put pressure toward the lathe and not too much pressure going left or right on it. So this right here made me a little nervous. You saw that thing just fling off. That was the last bit of the top piece of board. So I was little worried that this disc was going to be a precursor to what was going to happen as I got further down in the bowl but fortunately it was only that little piece I guess it just didn't do a real good job gluing up so I didn't have any other pieces fly off at me I really enjoyed how you could see each layer of this bowl disappear on the middle. So right there, you're going into the third board. The second board's completely gone uh, out of the middle anyway. Obviously, it's still on the outside. It kind of gives you a really good judge of the depth. Well, for the most part. Right here, I'm angling the cutter to try to get more of a shearing instead of a scraping motion and I'm just trying to be real real gentle because I know that last board's coming up and the mortise is going into that last board so I have to be really careful not to go through it and I did not go through it thank god we did not have a really really cool looking funnel here it is an actual bowl So here you see me feeling and kind of tapping on it. There's a ridge in here that I'm going to mark with a pencil so I know to get it out. And I was tapping to see how thin it was because I wasn't 100% sure right here. Uh, we got it pretty thin on the bottom. Uh, you'll see that toward the end of the video. It's uh, I don't think we could have gone much further. <laughs> so here we're doing the inside sanding. Uh, same as the outside. We're going to start at 80 and go through 400. Uh, not showing all of it. Just uh, highlights of it as it were. That's right, you heard it first. Only here on cross-cut turning do you get highlight reels of sanding. You're welcome. This is the last grit we're gonna do on the inside. And we're gonna start with the abrasive paste again. I did on the inside, I did do some hand sanding. I didn't just do some power sanding. Uh, there were some places that were kind of hard to get to with the uh, drill and everything. So I did end up doing hand sanding along with it. A little bit of sanding sealer. Just to buff this out. Help the shine on the inside. And help seal up that inside. I was still a little worried about a couple of spots in there. So I wanted to put that sanding sealer on there just to help seal it up. 
All right, so here we're starting with the axe abrasive paste. I'm gonna get that slathered on the inside, go around the rim here. And then we're gonna do the same thing, crank the lathe up and then make sure you just work it in really well. Use denatured alcohol. We're gonna get that all wiped off clean. And then last but certainly not least, the axe restoring polish. It's definitely my favorite part. Get that nice shine on there. Guys and gals, don't forget to head down and hit that like button for me. It really helps out the channel more than you know. Also, if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. Ring that bell notification so you know when I got a new video going live. And all comments are definitely accepted and appreciated i would really appreciate any comments you leave on what we're doing here or the channel itself i try to respond back to every one of them thank you all right so here we're going to take it off i wasn't sure quite how thin it was i knew it was pretty thin so you're going to see me shining the light through here and i'm going to show y'all too get the camera flipped around here so this light is from my lathe and you can see it passing through it actually looks pretty cool but that's incredibly thin incredibly thin bowl right there All right, guys, so I wanted to talk uh, a couple of points about this bowl. I, I'm really happy with how it turned out, uh, with the exception of one thing. I made it way too thin down here. Um, like uh, you could see probably earlier in the video, I sh had my light on my lathe, and I kind of pushed it through it, and you could see it just lighten up because of how thin the wood is. Um, so it is super thin. It's going to be really fragile down there, I think. But other than that, I mean, for taking a board, a cedar board, cutting it, you know, into multiple pieces and gluing four pieces together and coming out with a nice little pedestal bowl. Um, I, I couldn't be more happy with it. I think, uh, I think if I made it a little bit taller, I would have been able to go a little bit further in right here. But overall, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, the grain even kind of matches up on the sides a little bit uh, for the end grain. One thing uh, that I've noticed, um, I hadn't seen really on YouTube. I've seen a lot of guys that, you know, do bowls like this but usually when they glue it together they make them shorter and they, they go from this orientation so it's spinning like this um instead of you're going through the flat spot you know the flat spots are on the end so i wanted to try it like this um, i think the next one i am going to try to where uh glue the boards up and put them like this where it's spinning and i'm coming from this direction um but <clears throat> overall like i said i couldn't be more happy Another thing I couldn't be more happy with is the support. The support I've gotten on this channel uh, for the three videos for the month that it's been been up uh, has been great. Uh, the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, getting a few DMs, questions, and stuff like that. Really appreciate all that. Um, couldn't be more happy about it. It's uh, nice to know that someone enjoys watching the videos as much as I enjoy making them. So um, I'm going to keep making them, try to do one, one a week. Uh, not sure what's going to come out next week. Um, got a couple ideas I'm kicking around. Um, also, want to say thank you to my wife. She's the one that found this uh, wood. Uh, we had a neighbor that moved away that had this wood surrounding a garden that they, they got rid of. So I took it and uh, kept it from a burn pile somewhere. Uh, and she's the one that gave me the idea to use the wood. So really appreciate it, babe. Thanks. Um, other than that, uh, we'll see what uh, happens with this one. Uh, you can check out the Etsy store. Links in the comments. That's where this one's going to end up. Um, have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave it down below. Uh, I try to respond back to every comment that, that's, uh, that's on there. Other than that, uh, appreciate you watching. Have a great day.